Good morning. We are back and it is Tuesday, which means it is Tasty Tidbits Day. And if you joined me last week, we worked on these lovely little infusing oils, which I said we were going to pull back and we were going to make baskets. Now, my friends tease me that I am the basket gifter and the basket maker because I end up giving people baskets with tea and goodies like all the freaking time. It's a bit ridiculous that now I'm known as the basket giver. But as you can see, our, I don't know if you can see, can you hold that over there? I have an assistant. Can you see how the colors have changed with the oils? So these are our spices. So we have a few different baskets today. I uh, put together with some of our product because, you know, it's the holidays and we want to help you have one-stop shopping. So I'm going to go through a few of the different variations that we have. So first, I guess we're going to talk about the front one. So the front one is our hot and spicy basket that you can do. These are just ideas. You obviously can mix and match, but I just kind of put things together that seem fun. So we have our two hot red pepper infused oils. And then here we have all of our different kinds of hot red pepper. So as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds of hot red pepper and spice blends. So there's, there's more to life than Aleppo pepper and Italian hot red pepper people. And just so that you know, we have these nice handy dandy little brochures that talk about our spices. So you can obviously include that. You can buy them in bulk, whether or not you wanna buy them here. We have little spice jars. So if you wanna add more than one of those, you can certainly fill it up here. And we have these jars here we can fill up and you can even do even more if you want to. So this is our hot and spicy basket. But if you wanted to do some of our blends, we have these here. So we have our anadolu spice, which is garlic and onion and dill. We have our thyme. We have our Ottoman magic with sumac, thyme, and garlic, and saffron. So there's a ton of different things you can put together with that. This, what I would probably add to this would probably be a loaf of bread because I am a bread and olive oil girl, like that's kind of what I will eat if you wanna like just feed me well, just give me some olive oil and some bread. And we have our handy dandy little bamboo scoops that don't always have to be used for Turkish coffee. They can be used for other things like spices and teas and they're cute and they're bamboo. So they're antimicrobial, which is awesome because we're all about that and they're biodegradable. All right. Moving on, we have our Turkish coffee basket. So we have Turkish coffee, we have little cups, and I'm dropping things. So we have all different kinds of cups. Again, we have our little coffee scoop. Now, the nice thing about this scoop, and I don't know if you know, it took me like a gazillion years to find a scoop that was exactly seven grams of coffee to make it easy for you to spoon out your Turkish coffee. So this is all you need to have the perfect cup and then we have our little copper jezve and of course you need to have some baklava and some treats now coming next week wait for it we are going to have turkish coffee grinders coming from turkey and we're going to have hugo coffee just roast us some beans in smaller bags so you can make even another variation of a turkish coffee basket with a grinder with some beans with even cooler like brass copper cups and stuff like that it's going to be ridiculously cute okay next we have our tea basket we have about eight different kinds of tea and so you can put together either an assortment of all of them or some of them and again look we have the handy dandy brochures that tell you all about our teas isn't that freaking awesome and you can buy in bulk so if you know that your fate your friend's favorite tea is the istanbul tea which is like a customer favorite you can come back in with probably a funky little jar that you found at di because we're all about thrifting and second hand because that's how it's better for the environment is to kind of re-gift some things. So go to DI, get a fun little jar and come back and you can buy tea in bulk because this really isn't enough tea. I have been told many a time. And we have our handy dandy strainers that sit on top of your cup. Look how easy this is. I see, look, I'll show you. See, it sits. So there's no tipping and there's no spilling. And yes, it's a coffee cup, but you can use it as a teacup. You totally can do that. 
And because I like the scoop so much, we got the scoop. You got to have the scoop. And then we have our, that you can't see, our bath basket because everybody wants a nice relaxing bath. And this is using our flower infused oil that we made last week. And we have um, locally made olive oil soap. This is lemon lavender olive oil soap from Oleo Skin. And I just kind of want to carry it around, so I just smell like this all day long. And we have Turkish lemon cologne. We have, what, six or seven different colors of Turkish towels that you can mix and match. Now, if you don't know about Turkish towels, they are the bomb. They can do everything. They can be a towel. They can be a shawl. They can be a tablecloth. They can be a sarong. They can be an airplane blanket. There's so many uses for this towel that go above and beyond just hanging in your bathroom. You should have one in your car in case you're cold, especially on days like today, because you just never know in Utah what the weather's going to be like from minute to minute. And of course you need to pair it with some tea and some baklava. Another little thing that I'm going to be having for the holidays, which I don't have out yet, are my teacup bundles, which is a vintage teacup and saucer with two pieces of baklava and two homemade tea sachets. So those are nice for like teacher gifts and for neighbor gifts. You will wrap it up with a ribbon and you can pick the two pieces of baklava you want and then um, instant gift. One of the ways that help keep prices down as far as gifting and making baskets for the holidays is thrift stores you need to become best friends with your local thrift store. Especially if you're in, D in Salt Lake City, you need to get to know your local Desert Industries or DI. And each DI is famous for its own um, things. So the DI down on like 7th West and 7th South or something like that is known for glassware. So if you wanna expand your basket a little bit and have those cute little glass dishes that we use here, go to that DI on 7th West because they have so they excel in vintage glassware. You can get teacups, you can get jars, you can get bowls. So if you want to make your baskets a little bit bigger and feel a little bit fluffier, you know, for another two bucks, you can go get some plates. If you wanted to go and get baskets, like actual basket baskets, then you want to go to the DI and Sugar House. The DI and Sugar House is usually overflowing with all different kinds of baskets and different kinds of things. And they also have a lot of candles. So you can definitely accent more with things from the DI and Sugar House. You know, they'll have like cloth napkins and placemats and tablecloths and stuff like that. So there's ways to build your basket that aren't going to cost a lot of money. We do not need to go to big name market stores anymore. We can totally thrift this Christmas and it's a good thing. Except you, you got to come and get the treats here. Like I'm just saying, like we like rule the treats and we can make all sorts of different kind of baskets for you. So that is my basket making little live stream and come on in and let us play and make you holiday gift baskets and we do have bags and we have tissue so if you want us to make you a little gift bag we would be happy to do that it makes me all sorts of giddy and excited to make these little gift bags all right i'm going to go have my morning tea i will talk to you later goodbye